That's pretty good damage too. <laughs> <laughs> Only nice. needed the two. All right, but it still impressed me. <laughs> so what's next? Oh, do I need to go make some friends? I'm gonna head over here because my Riot was terrified of the darkness, right? Mm -hmm. If I kind of just stand in the darkness, is she still terrified? If you're right there on the other side of the fog wall, what she's seeing is just the foggy flames of hell on the other side, and illuminating all of the terrifying <laughs> shadows that have. I mean, it's a supernatural <laughs> fear. It's not caused by anything tangible. Okay. It's a also, the, the other half of the problem is we're afraid of the shadows, so bringing light into the equation doesn't actually help. Yeah. Not if there's enough light. The problem is no amount of light can illuminate your peripheral vision. There's always going to be that foggy edge of what you can see. Uh, it's not worsening their condition, but it's not making it any better, illuminating that section of the hallway. Yeah. But now also, that you're standing at the T-junction and looking down... Uh, in this direction, which is still somewhat dim, uh, because the radiance of the beam doesn't extend the whole 40 feet down the hallway. Uh, but at the very end of this hallway, now that you have some bright light, you can see yeah. a silver door. Also, uh, Liberation, uh, we did this slightly wrong. It's safe to stand next to me, it's not safe to enter my square. So essentially okay. when those guys were hitting me, they were taking damage because they were hitting me. Ah, okay. That's fair. Alright, what is the square's name? And you look at it, and it has the same imagery as the other silver doors, but it doesn't yeah. seem to have a name uh, inscribed anywhere on it. However, looking at it, you can see that it's been wedged open. Just a couple of inches. The way you did right, with well, the climbing python to one of the doors. I'll also. poke my my form in there. <laughs> You're gonna say head, but you couldn't. <laughs> I feel like we should look at the NetHack source code and find out what an elemental's head is actually called. I'll do that while you run this adventure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, make a Constitution saving throw. Man, it's almost like touching all these evil things isn't a good choice. Uh, that would be a twenty. Oh, I'm sorry, 25. 25. And poking your question mark yeah. through the door, uh, you're just aware of just abject darkness on the other side. And you realize it's not just darkness. It is, it's a void. It's an emptiness. It's the kind of stuff that the... Uh, the Aragus fungus thrives on, and you immediately yeah. jerk back through before it can do any severe damage to you. Well, that sucks. Let's just close this door up. Okay. How are you going to do that with your intangible... If I can do damage and stuff, I can, like, beat into it, right? Well, you do damage by burning, essentially. You can't physically hold yeah, things. Yeah, it's hard place. for me to physically hold things. That's not really my game. Liberation, can you come shut this door? It's connected to the inky blackness at the edge of all space or some such similar <laughs> horseshit. <laughs> Go ahead and <sighs> kick out whatever was wedging it open. And there just seems to be uh, like a metal rod or something keeping the door from closing. The question is, do you grab it and pull it into the hallway or do you kick it out into the blackness beyond? Kick, kick it, it into the blackness okay. beyond. You do so and the door closes. Hell yeah. We'll never know what it was and it will never matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What's next? I guess it has, has the time come for us to join hands in friendship? That doesn't sound like us, but... Let's do it. So who's opening this door? I will. I can't. I would, but... You can, if you want. We just had this discussion, Bricker. <laughs> do you attempt... The question is, do you attempt it? No, I'm gonna let McDole do it. All right. So you place your thumb into the needle and pierce your skin. Go ahead and reduce your maximum hitch points... Hitch points. Hit points by one. Hitch points, your HP. And you speak the name of the room, which is... Joining Hands in Friendship. And the door opens. I saw that move. That was a good choice. <laughs> Could have been anything behind that. Looking into this room, 
Uh, again, no light sources in here. Other than that, the marble walls look similar to what you've seen up to this point. You step into the room, it's about 30 foot square. Uh, the ceiling here is slightly lower than the rest of the place, where you've had these like 20 foot high vaulted ceilings. This one's closer down and not vaulted. So you're kind of standing inside of this marble box. You can hear muttering or murmuring, uh, echoing off the halls in the distance in front of you. All right, well, let's go check that out. Sounds awful. We're waiting for a stop, Bricker. Stop there. It's not. Oh, shit, it's a fuzz. It's a liberation. It's 5 Actually, Mahogany, you're not giving off any light in this area. Which That's weird. Which very strange for you. Yeah, I'm used to being like a radiant source of light in this dark place. <laughs> but yeah, no, light. all light is doused of the, in this area, so you're not giving off anything. Whatever, darkness comes into my home. Liberation. As you take mm. a step into that square there, move forward, you feel your foot crunch on what feels like dirt or packed soil. And looking into this room, you see a people standing in a circle facing inward. All their heads are bowed and it looks like there's burlap sacks or bags or some kind of cloth pulled over their heads, draped across their necks in the front of their torsos. And their hands are all joined in a circle. Uh, dozens of these people all around the perimeter of this room. And they're marching very slowly, clockwise, around the walls. This sounds like a very, very bad scene over the mine link. Maybe you've it's bad here spirits, too. Right? It's bad here too. Don't come back here. Don't come back. Do you describe <laughs> it to Riot? <laughs> Riot, you think you've no. seen some shit. <laughs> no, I'm not going to describe it to Riot. Just, this is a very, very bad scene. Take their bags off. I would do it, but I would burn the shit out of them. <laughs> and these people just continue to shuffle by you very slowly. Um, both of you standing there, go ahead and make me a perception check. Oh, that's my jam. At least when Riot's not in the room. <laughs> not my jam. <laughs> Radiant Elemental with dark vision. That's, this is, hey, I hey no, I got sense. it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is your chance to shine. He's not, though. He's in a room that eats light, so he's not actually shining. Parker, don't be rude. He's so incredibly correct. Because I just rolled a 25? I rolled a 25. You're looking in the room, it's worth. and you're starting to tell Liberation, like, hey, just run in and take their bags off. And you realize these people aren't actually holding hands. Their hands are pressed together, like their palms and fingers splayed out, touching the person next to them. But you see they've been stitched together. Sewn that sucks. Clay. This is a bad scene. All right, well, we got to do something here. I'm not just standing here forever. So you take hello. off the bag or I'm going to do it. Liberation calls out, hello. And the murmuring and shuffling continue, but you don't seem to get any other response out of them. Is there anything in the center of the room? Looking into the room, uh, no obstructions. Like, there's no furniture. There's no... It just looks like densely packed soil through the room. Instead of being uh, marble floors like you've been walking across, this is an earthen room. Uh, however, you do notice that the soil around the, the uh, circumference of the room is very packed down. I mean, they've packed a path into it, walking this circle, over however long they've been doing this. What's Keelian and Zook doing back there? Tell them back here where it's nice and there's no people. Keelan, I know you're out of the game, but if you don't come over here and take these back, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> you're letting him bully you? It's driving me insane having no hands. This is my. <laughs> this is like a personal hell. <laughs> <laughs> What's your what's your move here, Keelian? Yeah, all right, fuck it. Let's uh, yank a bag off the head. Off of a or man or a woman? 
Do I hear a roll initiative? No, I'm asking, like, who are you taking off a particular person? Like, a particular race, gender, size, age? Or are you just picking a person completely at random? Whoever's closest. Whoever's closest. Nice. So, and how are you doing it? Like, are you trying to reach forward and gingerly remove this bag, or are you just grabbing it and yanking? Grabbing and yanking. Grabbing and yanking. So you grab... I'd roll this randomly. <laughs> and you kind of jerk her back. You get a fistful of this young girl's hair. And you want to tangle it from this sack. And you can't see her face because she's facing into the room. But once the bag is removed from her head, she starts glancing around. Uh, and after a few moments, she begins to hyperventilate. She seems extremely troubled. She stops marching, and the person next to her is starting to kind of shove her along. I will give everybody standing there except Mahogany, because he doesn't have hands, I guess. Uh, you'll have <laughs> one opportunity to take some kind of action before she's shuffled into the room and is pushed along. Hmm. So do something or let her go. There's something. Hang on one second. Uh... Are you doing something, Liberation? Um, I don't think I really have anything I can do at the moment. Put her, put the bag back on her head. <laughs> okay, put it right back on there. Make it a <laughs> yep. check. Okay. A fucking ten. A ten? Yeah. Did you... Really? A ten? He rolled a six. That's like... Six plus four is ten. All right, you try to put this bag back on her head, and unless you want me to add proficiency, sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah. you can add sleight of hand if you want. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll apply sleight of hand to this. I just that don't want. A... I just don't want our party rogue to fail a contested dexterity check with an imprisoned girl whose hands are bound. That's like listen, listen. If there was ever a party rogue who was going to do it, <laughs> let me introduce my friend Keeling here. It's still a 10, all right? It's still a th- Oh, he doesn't have slight hand, does okay. he? That's fine. He Well, that makes sense, because Keelian likes to steal from you in plain view. That's true. <laughs> so, Keelian, you try to get this bag back on her head, but she's struggling, and she's starting to shriek out, No! No, don't! And before you know it, you've lost your opportunity. Um, and she's being pushed along by this just circle of humanity, all these bagged people. And you can start hear her cries of pain and confusion as she continues to circle the room. So after a minute or two, she'll come back around. Liberation ducks through a gap between two people. Ducks through a gap? Yeah. Okay, you wait for a second. I mean, you're not going to wait for an opening and duck through. You're going to have to push your way through these people. But you can totally do it. It's not going to be difficult. And what do you do once you get through? Um, Let me go ahead and I'll just... I'll put her in the room as she's circling around and let you know where she is at any point. Uh, And when you get through, I mean, her head darts in your direction. And you can see her face. She's a young woman, maybe 18, 19, human. Uh, She looks very disheveled. Aside from her hands being sewn to the hands of the people next to her, though, and her feet, which are pretty severely bruised and bloodied from marching for so long, you don't see any signs of injury just she's wearing dirty clothes she looks disheveled probably needs to brush her hair and terrified as she's glancing at you you can tell that she can't see in the dark either liberation liberation space says just stay calm i'm gonna gonna get you out of here all right Just (laughs) just try to hold your arms as still as you possibly can cut those hands so are you, you're just following around the room and speaking comforting things to her? Yes. What do you Liberation. say about her hands? You say keep be as still as you can? Just just hold your arms as steady as you can. When you mention her arms, she looks down and she begins screaming at the sight of her hands. You see her start jerking violently Wait, hold and up. painfully to try to free herself. She can't see anything. No, but she can feel that her arms are, her hands are now sewn to the person next to her a fact that she didn't realize until liberation helpfully pointed it out <laughs> you're welcome liberation i just want to be very clear here i don't have that many cast regeneration in a day so don't miss 
I'm going to use my axe, my hand axe. Okay. To do what? To sever some of that stitching. So to be clear, you've got yeah. people whose hands and fingers have been stitched together with thread. Yeah. You want to take an axe and try to slice in between the two palms. I don't think he means like. Well, and I don't. Well, I'm not going to presume what he means. No, I think he does uh, mean that's, that. That's Nick. why I'm trying no, to clarify no. what he's trying no. to do. Like instead of like holding like like a hatchet, just hacking, hat, lopping him off at the wrist. No, that's that that's insane. That's insane. Right. Here's your actual plan. <laughs> Here's my actual plan. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna kind of use it. It's kind of a wedge to kind of work the blade in between the two hands. So you're like sawing at it. A little bit, yeah. Make a strength check. I mean, it's literally a magic weapon designed to free people, so yeah, that's the only that's, reason I'm not giving you any shit over this. That's, that's, that's what I'm kind of banking on here. Uh, that is an 11. An 11? Yeah. So you grab one of her wrists to kind of hold it steady. And she's frantically trying to jerk out of your grip, but you're stronger than she is. And at this point, she's kind of dropped to her knees and is being dragged along this group. You get your hatchet out, you start working the thread. And it's not difficult. I mean, it's just thread. It's kind of like, uh, it's just cutting thread between two pieces of cloth that have been stitched together. And it goes through the thread Quickly, you don't even have to do a sawing motion. I mean, you just you touch your magic axe to them. That is, its entire purpose is to release people from bondage, and it just slices through the threads quickly. And her whole arm comes free, and she would start waving it frantically. Except you are standing there holding it, and at this point, everybody in the circle of the room stops. Version glances around the room and gives a <laughs> gives a nervous but friendly smile. No, no smiles. Just do the other one. The other hand. <laughs> I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the GM to tell me that I can't go for the other hand. I'm not going to tell you you can't do anything. All right, then I'm going to go for the other hand and cut that one loose too. Same deal. You're going to try to grab her arm. Same deal. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and make another strength check. You don't have to roll particularly well. <laughs> and then you explode. I don't roll very well. That's only a seven. Uh, seven still beats her four. <laughs> and same deal with the second hand. You hold her wrist steady. You get the the hatchet there, and it goes slices through the thread. Take her by the hand. Run. So you're going to... Start... No, I mean, are you carrying her, or are you going to drag her along the floor? Because she's not on her feet right now. Uh... Scoop her up and try and okay. carry her out of the room. And then you push through back into the hallway? Yeah. Nice job, Liberation. Incremental vi uh, victories against horrible darkness. That's basically our party MO. What about the other 30 people in this room, give or take? Have they done anything? You said that they stopped. Did they start again? They stopped moving as soon as he severed the thread, the first thread, between the girl's hand and the person to her right. They stopped oh, moving. Oh, take another bag off. Okay. I have to say out loud because I can't, in fact, do it myself. I still have a bracer of mahogany. No, I, I, I do say, yeah. I'm, well, I'm, we're all mindless. Like, I'm saying right. this. I'm saying the problem is that I have to say to do things rather than just doing it. And it's driving me insane. So, Liberation, <laughs> what do you do with the girl after you get to this point? Um. <laughs> Tell her just to have a seat and uh, we'll do what we can for you. Okay, make a charisma persuasion check. Do this at disadvantage. Of course. Of course the demon face man would have to do this. Uh, it's not because you're a demon face. It's because she's been a literal prisoner in hell probably for eternity. And all right, well, there's a lot of hells. She can calm down. And they're all <laughs> bad. What was that? 13. 13. You're trying to calm her down, but she is very clearly distressed and disoriented and she doesn't consider you don't you get the sense that she doesn't consider you to be a friendly face at all so that brings us back to mahogany and keelian are you keelian are you yanking bags 
who it's all kinds of races, genders, heights, all kinds of people march. The, the one thing they seem to have in common is that they're all humanoid, two legs, two arms. You don't see anybody just glancing into the room that looks like they've been disfigured or mutilated. Uh, and right now the people are not even, they're not walking anymore. Killian, go for, go for the most Duke Darkwood looking one in there. Cause just, let's just be sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or what's her name? I mean, she's in hell now, right? Yeah, Nylesia. She she was sold to the in the abyss, not not here. All right, yeah, let's grab bag on the net. The next. How many shrugs? Slavery's not really my game. So grab the bag off of who? Whoever's in front of me next. Okay, just another random person. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ryan Um, Nath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys start to become aware of a banging on this gold door. You don't hear it so much as you feel the reverberation from it. (laughs) I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm, I'm afraid of everything. I'm only afraid of the things down there. This seems much better. Um, in the party notes, do we have the name of this room? Uh, yes. Three points of light. Three, nope, that's, three nope, that's of light. not it. That's not okay. it. It's the permission giver. Okay. I will, no, uh, pr- light. I will prick my finger on the door and say the permission giver. Okay, go ahead and reduce your hit points by one. Yep. And the light of the room beyond. I mean, you just see it through the fog, but the door opens... And there's nothing immediately there on the other side of it. Hello? The, the, there's a fog, but you can definitely... I should be able to still hear you say something. And then you hear the voice of the Keeper from the room beyond. And it asks you, Is your task then completed? Have you quelled the nightmares? Not yet. I heard someone trying to enter this room. He says the nature of the nightmares are that they will cloud and twist your mind. You will see and hear things that are not there. Is there any way to see through that? Roll higher. And he says kind of sad, (laughs) kind of, you hear like a twinge of sadness to its voice. And it says, when we last spoke, it was established that you and your cohorts are... Men and women of great power. Cast a spell of magic. You... Alright then, let the door close. Let the door close, and as soon as the door closes, the banging and reverberations resume. Hey, can someone else come up here and check to see if that's real or if that's just part of whatever the hell is going on here? Oh, well, that's over the mind link, obviously. Yeah, no problem. I'm just burning things down here, so. Alright. We're just like, we're half deep in some kind of hell carnival. Okay. <laughs> so. And... Dude, get out of my way or I'm gonna burn you to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get through this door first. Ah! Oh, I thought we, I thought we <laughs> knocked that one open. Damn. Alright, well, who cares? I'll, uh, I... I'll prank myself. Okay, All right. speak the name of the room beyond. Three points of light. Okay. And doing, pushing your radiance against the needle for a moment, you feel the same sensation as you would have felt if your actual Genasi thumb were contacting it. Go ahead and reduce your hit points by one. You got it. And you enter back out into the hallway. All right. I'll float my way over here. I don't even know how to describe what a Radiance mm. Elemental looks like in a place where light doesn't work. Like, it's... <laughs> like, a ga- like, a, like a gas leak, I guess. Just yeah, a weird, cloud. wavy mirage in the darkness. Hey, guys. Is there any knocking? Uh, yeah, when you get up there, you can hear the banging and knocking on the other side of the door. Yeah, it's probably real. Or, I mean, not. Who Who knows? Hey, have you uh, have you dispelled that magic yet? I'm 
I don't think it's a spell. Does that matter? Sometimes. Do you want to give it a go? Well, alright, let me take ten minutes to cast Detect Magic and see if I can actually pick out the aura. Oh my god, are you kidding me, Nath? <laughs> <laughs> I get the sense that Nath only becomes more methodical and analytical when he's trying to stave off irrational fear. <laughs> Even where we are, I don't want to use my valencies carelessly. Oh my god, Beth! <laughs> okay, before so Keelian... Taking ten minutes up there to cast the tech magic. Before Keelian... Yep. Before Keelian yanks the bag off the next body, he looks at Liberation and goes, yeah, Are we really going to try and free all these people? Liberation looks like a kid who didn't get anything for Christmas right now. We don't even know if these people are real. They could just be figments of our imagination. Detect magic. You trigger detect magic? Yes. The first thing you're aware of is powerful abjuration and necromancy magic radiating from the threads the severed threads that are left in the hands of this girl in front of you. Looking down at her hands, which are bloodied and scratched, uh, dozens of threads down the length of each of her fingers and across her palm are radiating powerful abjuration and necromancy. And you see the same sort of magic looking out into the circle of people in the room radiating from all of their hands. The people themselves are not giving off any magic. They're not illusions. Yeah. What, about, what about the then bags? Liberation explains that. Uh, the, bags the bags are also not giving off any sort of magic. Hmm. <sighs> Why is this room? Why do something so pointlessly cruel? Yeah. Oh, you know are, do we really we need are, to have right? that talk again? <laughs> <laughs> the demon talk? Or devil talk? Fiend talk? Fiend talk. Every You're Thursday here. on CBS. You're not here. Um, I, I assumed you were talking let's, about like... Let's go for a... Wait for a humanoid male to come around. Okay. A humanoid male? Yeah. Human, if I get Humanish features. Human, so not like a Modron? No. Definitely not a Modron. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's the square bag slowly going around the room. <laughs> And he's not stitched to the guy next to him. He's bolted there. Uh, <laughs> That's even worse. You don't have to wait for anybody to come around because they're not moving anymore. But you're able to reach into the room. And it's the okay. same kind of reaction. You yank this uh, the bag off the head of this bald, older gentleman. And it's like he's waking up. And he's very confused. And he looks around. And he starts shouting for help. Killian sighs and rolls his eyes. All right, swap. I'll deal with the girl, you deal with him. Okay. Liberation try, does his best to try to calm him down and say, listen, a lot of, all of you and all these other people have been trapped down here and we're trying to help, we're trying to help you. Make charisma but persuasion. You calm check. down. Which used uh, to be really good for you, but now is not good for you anymore. Because 13. You're in, a, you're in a new faction. 13? Yep. So you're attempting to calm this man down and you've managed to keep him from yelling out and to hold, you're able to hold his attention. And as you're speaking to him, Keelian, you and Zook become aware of bright light behind you as the gold door opens and a figure begins walking through. Uh. It's Jeff. <laughs> So what's next? You only got a few seconds before this thing, whatever it is, steps out into the light. You can see it clearly. Oh, you're going to meet it in that room. Yeah. Okay. Stepping forward, you see 
what looks like a a Hamachula. Hamachula is a barbed devil. You guys have fought all kinds of devils. I don't know if you fought one of these specifically, but there are these green gangly Beatisu. They're covered in uh, sharp barbs, and this one looks like it's dressed in leather straps uh, wrapped around its torso and its arms and its groin and its upper legs. And attached to the straps are in all different <coughs> shapes and sizes and uh, colors, which you can see the colors because there's bright light behind you for the moment before the door closes. <laughs> it's carrying spools of thread and many different needles. And he steps into the room and looks up at you for a moment. And then he says in this very hoarse voice, like a, like a five-pack-a-day smoker voice, he says, the thread has been broken. And then begins to saunter deeper into the room. Ah, okay. Backpedal a little bit. Okay. Shouts for liberation. What? Get over here. And liberation, the man you were speaking to, is, he says, no, no, don't leave me. Where are you going? <laughs> and Hold that thought. I think this guy's here to repair some thread. So liberation, this barbed devil's entering the room. And he looks down at the, the girl that you freed. And he looks at you and he repeats, the thread has been broken. And so it shall stay. Are you going to block his passage through? Absolutely. Here? Okay, let's roll some initiative. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be that petulant sounding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys up in the... Because you got the mind link ups. So you guys up in the sanctum can roll initiative on this as well. I yeah, but I can't you. get there, so I'm not going to. You can ask Mahogany to drag you there unwillingly. <laughs> I can't! I don't have hands! Shift into something else! Shapeshift into a thing that has like 30 hands! I can't! Shapeshift is over! <laughs> Alright, Riot, would you roll? I didn't roll. You didn't? Okay. What did Keelian roll? 19. And Liberation. Liberation's on a 10. Nath? Nath acts at 5. Mahogany. 23. <laughs> and Zook. Zook is on a 12. I rolled like a butt. Now, Nath, this is transpiring while you're doing your detect magic ritual. Yep. So if you take any ac action other than continue the ritual, it's going to interrupt that ritual. Okay. So over the mind link, you guys are hearing this transpire. Uh... So, Liberation, what information do you send over the mind link? Maybe one, like, a sentence or two to alert the people in the Sanctum what's going on before this fight we, kicks off. We have company in the friendship room. <laughs> that's nice. So that's what you, that's the information you have to act on right now, Mahogany. Alright, that's not super good, but on the other hand, I'm looking for any excuse to do something... <laughs> That doesn't require hands. <laughs> so I'm going to make my whole way uh, way down there. Okay. I'm going to say it requires your action to get through one of these gold doors, provided you know the room name and can press your thumb to it. Yeah. Fortunately, you're immune to the beam being shot down the room. Yeah. That's me. Um... Yeah, what the hell? I'll just go through on this turn. Okay. I'll uh, go ahead and prick my hand. Oh, I'll speak the name of the room. Joining hands and friendship. And reduce your maximum hit points by one. I'd love to. And the gas leak enters the room. 
<laughs> Keely, you see in no uncertain terms that this devil yeah. is going to force his way through liberation. It's going to come to blows. Are you disengaging? Yep. Okay. Moving back. Um, yeah, I can still disengage because I've got cunning action. Yeah, you can get bonus it. action, disengage. Yeah, bonus action, disengage with back, and then I want to shoot him anyway. Liberation, is this devil an illusion? <laughs> no, he's not. He's a real devil. Although, I just wondering how the fuck he got in here. The thread and the needles he's carrying are all radiating magic. All right, Keely, and do your thing. That's a 23. 23 will hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whoops. And more. Oh. 43 damage. 43 damage. That looks like a job for calc.exe. <laughs> <laughs> right. As you shoot this poor man in the back, needles. are you moving or staying put? Um, that's all I can do. Liberation. I've expended everything. This guy's going to come through through you Gross. towards this girl. I have a natural 20. Yeah. Let me get some dice here for damage, which I get to double because I like 20s. That's the only reason, though. 18 points of piercing damage. This thing whips around with its tail and stabs you up and down one of your legs with its barbed with its barbs <laughs> ow uh, the next attack is hits on hits a seven which is terrible and then i've got a 14 just misses just misses okay so whips around with its tail and then it tries to slash at you which is two claws and misses both of those What's your passive insight? Uh, 14. 14, okay. It's going to bring us to Zook. Presses back up against the wall and... Is he, is he disengaging? Ow. Yep, because right. he can do that. So I got to give every monster the sentinel feet from now on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does a 25 do? That'll hit. Uh, for a lot... Yeah, solo CR5 monster against two high-level rogues. This is not going to take long. No, not long at all. Uh, but he was a friendly fiend. 41 <laughs> damage. 41. Okay, the thing is bloodied, but it looks like it's not giving up its attack. It's going to bring us to liberation. Can you end it right here? I can certainly give it the old college try. Cracking with the stick for a nat one. I can go for a second attack for. Uh, Maybe give it the new college 20 try. Hit. 20 does hit. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I said that's a d6. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, do I use it as an armed attack? Derp. Yeah, that's going to say. Gonna <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> uh, that is eight damage. Eight damage. And the moving or staying put? Uh, staying put. Nath, you're focusing on your ritual? Yep. Casting my spell. And mahogany. I am going to go in and hit on this demon. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> like I'm using my... Well, I can't. I was going to say fist, but that's not quite true either. Now, I want to be very clear about one thing. This is not a demon. All right. It's I'm going to hit on this fiend. <laughs> Hey, baby. <laughs> 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 how, do, how do you feel about these these fists? Well, th he feels pretty good about them, apparently. Six, s 13? No, 13 doesn't hit. All right, well, guess what? It doesn't get to save against this one. <laughs> so you just gonna kind of... Hang out in his space. Him? Just kind of move into his space. Okay. Get all nice up close and personal. Yeah. <laughs> that one's gonna be a nice uh, four radiant damage. damage. Now we're on his turn. 
It takes his damage now, and then when he starts his turn, he takes it again. Mm, are you sure? Yeah, because it's like, essentially, if I move through enemies, they take damage, and then I stop on one of them, and that one takes damage again. Because if it works like that, that would be the only instance of a attack, like a passive attack. That doesn't no, yeah, I know. It's weird. It's, uh, the first time it enters a creature's space on a turn, that creature takes fire damage and catches fire. Oh, it catches fire, and then the fire makes it take damage. Well, I, I don't know if it catches Radiant. Uh, no, it can't catch Radiant. <laughs> there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing to engulf. Uh, but yeah, the passive Radiant damage would be fine. So yeah, we'll just say that if it ends its turn still in your space, it'll take the damage again. Again, but I'm, I'm going to get out of its space because I don't want Liberation to catch it when he punches it. Okay, so you're just going to kind of flow I'm going to just give it the, like, the, the flow through. And how much of that? That was just four Radiant. Just four. All right, Keelian. You better kill him right now. You can't shoot him three times. I don't know what you're going going ham with the tab button there. Like hell he can't. <laughs> he multiclassed. Uh, 16? 16 will hit. Yay! Yay! Woo! It dies. <laughs> Probably. Is 40 damage. 40 is enough to kill this thing. Oh, I just thought of something. I'm taking care of the Threadman. And it's a good thing you did, because he was about to gate in a bunch of assholes. <laughs> right into Mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> and this entire time, I mean, the man in the room that Liberation was speaking to is still calling out in the darkness. What happened? What's, what's going on? Where have you gone? The girl... At your feet. I mean, at this point, she has closed her eyes very tightly, and she's clutched her knees, and she's, like, rocking back and forth in her space. Let me go ahead and... Also, the, uh... Riot is doing all of that, too. <laughs> Neff. Mm -hmm. You complete your ritual. And... I mean, you just get the standard magical readings from the place. Uh, the outside walls. The door. And the yeah, you detect a magical fear effect on both you and Riot. Uh, can I try and hit us both with an AOE dispel targeting that? An AOE dispel? Is there yeah, such a that? thing? What's that? Doesn't oh, does the spell no longer have two modes? It dispels all of the things on one thing, and you then roll for each. No, one. it doesn't even do that. Yeah, you I mean, just pick a thing, I think. Or magical effect in range. So if you want to oh, okay. the effect on Are these the same? Just... Are they the same effect? It's a, w one effect on each of you, so you'd have to cast it twice. Let's give it a try on uh, Riot first. What level are you so... casting Dispel Magic at? Third level, so it goes up to 15, level 5 spells. Okay. I believe and it's Riot, plus 11 now. You begin to feel... A little bit foolish, sitting there rocking, feeling the wetness of tears on your cheek as you just feel this gut-wrenching fear just evaporate. After now, and, and I'll self-target okay. the second one, and that does all levels of magic. Okay, that's way better. And you guys feel the fear effects diminish. <sighs> and I'll say over the mind, like, "Hey, you still need help?" No, we kind of deal with to... that. Close my eyes, put my hand against this wall, and walk. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hold Nat's hand as well as we go down. Okay, well, <laughs> well, and walk until I walk into this radiant <laughs> beam of asshole. Or you know, <laughs> <told me> about. <laughs> All right, well, come on, you're holding his hand. Try it. If he walks into the beam, that's just that's on you. Well, even yeah. with his eyes closed, he's still very aware of this bright laser beam shooting down the hallway. <laughs> And they don't have negative connotations with holding hands yet, because they haven't seen the hilarious circle room. <laughs> True. <laughs> and once I'm out of this hallway, I'll open my eyes. Oh, God, that's bright. Oh. Wait, right, you're good online, you say, right? How are you with moral quandaries? Hey, wait, Nath, did you open your eyes? Yeah. Are you, are you good? I mean, I'm not afraid right now. Okay, then right will also open her eyes. Okay. Oh, but it was six seconds delayed. <laughs> and and let go of Nat's hand, because it's okay. ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm excellent with moral quandaries. 
That's Barnes great. Who's, 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 currently open, open who's opening that door? Oh, right, right, right. Yep. Forgot about that. Uh, I did the last one. I just I did the one in the keeper's room just now. Yeah, but that was you didn't have to do that. That was stupid. <laughs> Fair point. Right, it's like we're in the ninth level of hell. Wow. I'm not sugarcoating anything. <laughs> no, fair point. I'll open this one. Okay. Speak to Joining hands in friendship. And reduce your maximum hit points by one. Yep. I'm dying. That was hilarious. <laughs> and Riot and Nath step into the room. And you guys see this dead barbed devil laying at Liberation's feet. Along with this terrified young woman. And you're, you hear the, the man... Somewhere around the corner, yelling, confused. Liberation, What's looking back into the room, you see him. He's attempting to move, and you see him jerking his hands. Uh, whoa, whoa, he's whoa, like whoa, pulling whoa, whoa, the whoa, threads whoa. out of his hands, very painfully. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the two people no, on I mean, either side of him. I'm on his side. He should notice. probably take those threads out. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the the girl and try and remove the threads from her hands as well. I mean, this, this I'm gonna, is going to be very laborious. For reference, I am keeping this door open. I mean, you're not just going to grab tweezers and pull one or two threads out. I mean, you, you have dozens mm -hmm. and dozens all over your hands. It's, you're looking at probably a good hour's worth of work. Yeah, That's, I understand. Okay, so you're just going to get started on that process? Yeah. What kind of tools are you using to do this? Uh, I've got a dagger. It's basically the... <laughs> The best thing, like I get, and I'm not gonna like cut it, but I'm just gonna like kind of pry, it, like get the tip under and then pry out. Okay, uh, you know what I mean. Rather than gouge with a dagger, I mean, if you've got nothing else, probably just your fingernails. If you grab one of the threads and then work it out. Oh yeah, that's probably uh, that'll work. But you, you can tell right away this process is pretty painful to her. She's trying to jerk her hands away. You've got to hold her by the wrists. Uh, yeah. Have you ever tried to and give I'll... a dog medicine? <laughs> No, I have not. It's well, it, they don't like all you it. Gotta, all it's you a, have to do is wrap wrap it in a piece of cheese, and they'll devour anything you put in that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a struggle because you've got to hold her hand steady. You you can't make her understand that you're trying to assist her. She thinks you're actively hurting her. <laughs> can I? Can I? Mm -hmm, okay. I, mean, I just wanted to try and calm her down. Uh, doing what? Just like um, speaking soothingly to her. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead and make a charisma persuasion. Make this check at disadvantage. What sure are you doing thing. in the room with the man, Liberation? I'm trying to get him to hold still so that way I can get cut the rest of these uh, threads loose. Okay. He's much more uh, easy to control. You make him aware that you're going to cut him free. He holds still for long enough for you to put the hatchet through the threads. And... Uh, the main difference is he's much stronger than this girl was, and he's been struggling in it for much longer. So, I mean, he's already pulled a lot of these threads loose, much to his own detriment. You see the slashes back and forth across his skin where some of them have broken loose. Uh, but, yeah, you get him free. And then he grips your arm with both of his bloodied hands, and he beseeches you to get him out of this place. <laughs> And what's next? That, that's on the list. It's a very big list. How many more people are there? There are a couple dozen in this room. I mean, you figure you could probably squeeze in three people per five foot square. And you're going around the entire circumference of this room. Probably more than that, actually. Because it's there, there was enough that you weren't able to look for a gap in the people. You had to muscle your way through them. This is going to be an all-day task if we're going to sit here and... Try to free every one of the people. What liberation? Can you just for now just cut the threads? Yeah, I can. The, I want to see what. I just want to see what removing one of them does. The people in the room that still have their hoods over their heads—they're being very docile and motionless. Two of their hands are fairly well injured because this man has just pulled on on them for a considerable amount of time. But other than that, they're still. Standing motionless. The mumbling has ceased, and they're no longer marching. Liberation's going to go around to each person in turn and start cutting cutting hands, cut, cutting the stitching loose. Okay. 
Liberation, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Uh, does a 17 pass? 17 passes. Okay. You're spending a considerable amount of time in this room, going from person to person and cutting threads. And if you don't remove the hoods from their faces, their arms just hang limply at their sides, no longer stitched to the person next to them. And after four or five of these people looking and seeing just how much of the task is left, just this weight of despair, you begin just feeling it, the depravity of the situation. What possible purpose could any of this serve? Why are these people... You manage to shrug off those feelings. They're definitely not coming from uh, inside you. It's not your natural <laughs> reaction to the room. The room is doing something to you. Liberation goes back to this man who's got his head off and says, get out of this room. Well, at, this, at this point, after you stitched him free, he's fought his way back out into the hallway. Okay. And he sees the rest of you out there. Uh, and he begins asking if you've been sent here to free him. If you have news from his family. If you're taking him home. I don't know any of you from Adam. I'm gonna give Who are him, you? This might be ironic. I'm going to give him a 0.5% chance that his name is actually Adam. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's not. Okay. It's fair enough. <laughs> oh, his name's fair enough? Is he relative to show enough? So you're still sitting here pulling the threads out of this girl's hands? Yeah. Okay. What about Nath so Because I know... Mm -hmm. Nath is keeping the door open. Keeping the door open? Yeah. Okay. Keelan is chilling. So it takes a good close to... I don't know, let's say 20 or 30 minutes before Liberation finally makes his way all around the room. And now this circle of people are just standing there with covers over their heads, their arms hanging limply at their side, their bloodied feet standing in the soil. At this point, the girl's breathing has become less erratic. She's not struggling so much. The man seems more confused than anything when he realizes that you weren't specifically sent here to rescue them. He's not really what? sure what to make of the situation now. What's the last thing you remember before my friend here pulled that hood off your head? He shakes his head for a moment. Like he's trying to think really hard. He says, the last thing I remember is going to sleep, climbing into bed with my wife. I can't can't recall her name. Petitioner. Oh, so he's evil? How evil do you feel? <laughs> says, I, feel like I don't I don't understand. I'm not a I'm not an evil man. I'm a prisoner. I'm I've been held here. I I I've I've been taken from from my family for some I don't know why. I don't believe partitioners in this plane wear the skin of people. Uh, make an arcana check. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. The vast majority of cases, knowing what you know about petitioners, the vast majority of cases, a petitioner in Beator would be a low-ranking fiend. Yep. It's probably not unheard of for other types of petitioners to exist, especially in the realms of individual deities. But you're not in such a realm right now. Good news, buddy. You're not evil. <laughs> but Do you remember Augustine Locke? He shakes his head and says, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, the name doesn't sound familiar. Not. Riot, you're going to be doing this for the better part of, we'll say, an hour if you're going to sit here yeah. and commit to. So are the rest of you going to sit here and let Riot work? No, this whole se thing seems like a sideshow. I mean, no, no offense to any of you guys present here, but we've got bigger stuff going on. 
I mean, what do you want to do with these people? My thought is we could maybe... <sighs> we leave them unattended, then... Then they're no worse off than when we I got don't here. don't have anything that lets me move this many people off the plane quickly. It'd take multiple trips, take several days. How many people, like, if I just count? If you go in and count... Or someone give me a count. Someone who can see these people give me a count because we'll I'm keeping this door open. We'll say 52. Why not? That's a, that's a good number. That's, I'm I'm mainly yeah. interested in if the if the if this is part of the nightmare chamber, I'm interested in ending this nightmare. Yes. Right. Exactly. And th this isn't doing it. Um. I just want to remove... I'm not going to sit here for days and remove the threads from everybody. I just want to see what happens when I do it to one person. And there's no change in her demeanor as you finish up the first hand after about 30, maybe 40 minutes of work. Uh, mm -hmm. Her hand's in real bad shape. But there's no change yeah. in her demeanor. and You just let the magical f threads uh, fall to the ground, or are you collecting them up? I'm collecting them up. Okay, man, they're just, they're just blood-soaked, you know, flakes of... Dead flesh, case mm -hmm. with dirt. Is the bar devil? Is 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 his corpse still there? Oh yeah, you haven't done anything with it. It's just laying there. The, and the and the thread and such. All hey, kicking around there. Hey Nath. Hmm. And and right kind of like bobs her head over, like jerks her head over to the thread that the barb did. Devil has to <laughs> identify that stuff. That's a good plan. Oh, yeah. yeah if you're going to be working on this for an hour, I could. I'll let the door close. Okay, the door closes. I'll start casting Identify as a Ritual. See, the whole point of this dungeon is to get you guys to explore back and forth enough that when you do the last encounter, <laughs> nobody's got higher than 20 max hit points. <laughs> That's a good so you're going to take the next 10 minutes and cast it as a Ritual? Yep. Okay. Is anybody else doing anything important in the next 10 minutes? Do we have a pearl somewhere? I don't know that I have one on me. I feel like Mark's going to get a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and mark one off for me. Thank you. Yep. Wait, can you access your equipment even though you're in gas leak form? No, but I mean, gas leak form has been real bad for me. <laughs> let me see, let me see if I actually picked up one. I have a pearl. I have two pearls. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and take the benefits of a short rest, and we will All take right. this opportunity to take our break.